Alright, howdy folks, and welcome to Gridiron Live. Hope everyone is having a good evening. Tonight we're going to be playing a little bit of NCAA Game Breaker 2001. And I think the matchup is going to be Texas A&M and Kansas State. So that should be fun. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and roll the intro. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. Dodge this. Wait a minute. Fill their box. Shoot them in the belly. We're going to cut out their living guts. We're going to murder those lousy hunter by the bush. Alrighty. So we are off. So let's go ahead and jump into this game. We're going to be the away team. And I was thinking about doing a... Uh, little career mode, but I thought, I don't think I have the time right now, so we'll just go ahead and play a game. I really like playing this game in the uh, career mode. Down in the rolling Flint Hills. And I was actually on the uh, Retro Sports Gamer channel. Just yesterday, uh, playing NCAA 98, EA's game. The Aggies of Texas A&M. Welcome to Game Breaker 2001. I'm Keith. Alrighty. This is an old Big 12 classic matchup. These two teams met in the 1998 Big 12 title game, where A&M won late in the fourth quarter. So we're going to go ahead and relive those days right here on Gridiron Live. Now, I've been playing my football games in coach mode on past couple uh, streams so I'm going to have to get used to actually playing the games again I need to find the camera view a multiplayer yeah okay so we'll line up in a nickel cover two to start things off Big gain by number 22 there. I've been programming all day, and my mind is just... It's just burnt out. I've been working on my football game all day, and... Man... I've been trying to get these schedules to work, and they do work, but I have to account for different conference sizes and different, like, conference structures, and I tend to just to make all the conferences the same in my game. So we got a third and ten here. Ooh, and number twenty-two catches it again. So we got a first and goal. Let's go four-four base. Hot. Hot. 
No catch there. Let's go goal line breaker. Is a and M corners tight on the receiver. There are days when the old QB another drop. Why he can't collect workman's cup. So it's third and goal. We'll go back to goal line. Let's do breaker one more time. Next is a and M corners tight on the receiver. One ninety six. He throws it and it's deflected. Good defense. So we stop him at the goal line. We'll go goal line breaker again, just in case they go for it. Got 23 dancing on the left there. And Kansas State goes up by three. Texas A&M will receive the kickoff. Here we go, number seven. Give me the block. Ooh, and we got a fumble. Luckily, it was recovered. A little power eye toss left. Kansas State shows blitz. Hot, hot. You gotta have rockets. It's an eight yard run by number five. I think this was the money play where you can pretty much get a positive gain every time. Yeah. If there's nothing on the outside, the running back's gotta lower the shoulder, stick his head in there, and so now that we're on the left hash mark, we're just gonna flip the play. Side, but has little to show for it. Short game. We'll go for a pass on this second and six. We'll just go ahead and take the ball here. Ah. You better strap on the helmet and tie the shoelaces tight when you play defense at this level. He didn't do either, and he missed the tackle. Number 41, in motion. Oh. What am I doing? R1 is the pitch. Or the lateral. Oh, my God. Somebody had better go back and read the manual. Horrible mental mistake there. is a and M showing a four-man front. If 11 guys do what they're supposed to do... All right, hopefully the defense can bail us out here. That's a catch. Number 89 with the reception. That's scary. Texas A&M, corners tight on the receiver. Let's go. 4-3 base. Got three linebackers. If you look how that play developed, Six yard run. How the offensive line was able to it's third and four. Of the defense, spring the running back. Let's go to goal line breaker. Hot. Hot. <laughs> Wide open. They got me there.
Alright, so KSU is going to be up 10 to 0. Not a good showing to start out the first quarter by the Aggies. But we still have three quarters of football left, so. Whatever I do, don't press the right. Uh, don't press R1. The Wildcat. Showing blitz. Heads for the sideline. The way this back is picking them apart, it makes them look like they're playing hide and seek. So we're going to keep it on the ground. Try to get the run game going. Set up the pass. Maybe had his mind on the post game dance. Coach will take care. I got to be careful here because the way sprinting works, I don't know if it started in like the. Cause I, I know in game day, if you keep tapping that sprint button, your players can actually get like an ACL tear, they can get injured. Um, I know that's for sure in game day 2005 on the PS1. Can't remember if it's on Game Breaker. So we'll just be a little more conservative and not uh, spam the sprint button. Would have been awesome if they had side view in this game. Alright, we're gonna sprint. We're gonna spam the button here. Get that touchdown. Touchdown for a number five. And just like that, AM goes onto the board. Let's see. Where is. Special teams field goal. Extra point. All right, five plays for 82 total yards. It was all on the ground that time. All on the ground. That should give the uh, Aggie defense a little more confidence, hopefully. Oh, fumble. Recovered by number 28 of Kansas State. Well, they'd certainly like to pass the ball a lot. Maybe we'll go dime cover two. Maybe the uh, extra DBs will help with the coverage. Ooh, and they catch that one. Especially after a play like that. Um, let's go three, two, six, cover three. Number twenty-eight in the backfield. Good deflection there. His strength is his quickness. As soon as he picks up where the ball is going, he can plant go at the end of the first quarter. The Wildcats, 10. The Aggies, 7. That's the end of the first. 3, 2, 6. Cover 3. Hot. 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 Ooh, and the uh, Aggie defense gets to the, to the ball carrier pretty quickly. You go north and south if you want to gain real estate and win the football it's game. third and ten we're gonna stay in this three two six force him to throw it or force him to run I guess comes to the in the third. <laughs> in 
intercepted by number 23 down at midfield. Coaches told me yesterday they want a three to one touchdown to interception ratio. Got some dance moves by number 23. Let's go back to power eye. Toss left. Receivers in motion. Ooh. He ran a long way to the outside, but has little to show for it. Short gain. Well, a 22 zoom. Oh my god. Wide open. Completely uncovered. Couldn't even catch that one. Third and nine. Number 41 in motion. Two yards. We're, we're going to go for it here. We gambled and we won. We're down to the 20. Get pushed out at about the 15. We'll go Y clobber. Kansas State throwing up. Ooh. He did overthrow it, but it's probably better because there wasn't a whole lot of space there. Number forty one in motion. With the tackle. Nice cut up the middle by number five. Third and six. We'll toss it to the right. Ooh, did we get there? If the offense keeps it a run like this, you know what's going to happen. They're going to draw the defense up close. It's fourth and one. I think we can get this. Boom. Not only do we get the first down, we also get the touchdown. A little bit of celebration by number five. Where is special? Special teams field goal. Extra point try. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. So just like that, Texas A&M is up 14 to 10 on the Kansas State Wildcats. Huge dog pile there at midfield. So the five man box seemed to be working pretty well. Boom. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, young fella. Loss of four yards. We'll go three, two, six. Cover three again. Deep ball. Intercepted again. Unfortunately, we get wrapped up. Good awareness by number 21. We're going to play with the wishbone here a little bit. The Wildcats with six, no five. <laughs> kind of a dangerous throw, but number five was able to turn that into positive yardage by breaking a tackle. Receivers in motion. If you look how that play developed, you can see how the offensive line was able to seal off the perimeter of the defense and spring the running backs. 
Let's see what we got here. We got 44 cross. Let's see if we can hit, uh, what's it, is that triangle? X. Is that a reception? Yes. A lot of defenders with their heads down. I really like how you can kind of power through tackles. Sometimes you get hit immediately and you go down, but other times you can kind of drag the defender with you. It's kind of fun. Motion. He ran a long way to the outside, but has little to show for it. Short game. Number 41 in motion. So we're looking probably for circle here. Good throw on the run by number 10. And has a little bit of an acrobatic catch by the halfback. That should be enough for a first down now. So AM started slow, but the offense has definitely been picking up. Pretty bad uh, clock, uh, clock management there. Totally forgot to call timeouts. So, so far, they've done a lot more passing than we have. Rushing, we have 170 yards. Averaging 8.5 yards per rush. That's deadly. Two touchdowns to one, and they have one field goal. Let's go ahead and get the second half underway. Thankfully, we get the ball back. Let's get some blocks here. Not much there. We're going to go toss left, of course. Number five, battling through some tacklers, but he gets dragged down. The Wildcat, showing blitz. Ha -ha, ha -ha. <laughs> Number 40, Russell, down the ball carrier. Go 44 cross. Number 41 in motion. Number 10 <laughs> to throw on third down. Ah. Uh. Man. Where is special teams? Field goal, punt. There you go. Fourth and three, but we're in our own territory, so we're going to go ahead and kick this one. Punt it. The Kansas State is still having trouble with the five man box 3 2 6 formation. So as long as they keep struggling with it, we're going to stay in it. Cover three. We're definitely taking away their downfield options. One of the best clues for a defensive back, watch the quarterback's eyes. If you have done your homework, you can figure out what he's going to do pretty quickly. Flip 
Third and 11. And that guy is definitely open, but he stopped short of the first down marker. Fourth and two, are they going to go for it? Number one, deep, and he's dangerous. Forty eight catches it, and he's down. So it is the middle of the third quarter. Motion. Definitely want to take control of the time of possession, which I already have, of course. But I want to control it, control the possessions. Start winding down the clock. Said it once or said it a thousand times. East west running doesn't do you much good. You go north and south. It's Not much game. there. Let's go shotgun. Do we have shotgun formation? No, oh, but we do have trips. Kansas State goes with a four man <laughs> Intercepted. Wow. They, they get a little, a little bit of payback there with the interception. But I think we have the defense on lockdown here with the 3-2-6, cover three. Finally, they go up the middle with the, with the running back. Rush for six yards. There's a reason why defensive coordinators have a lot of gray hair, if they have any hair at all. Um. I'll try a dime formation now. Okay, so they're making some adjustments, running on the ground a little bit more. Let's go four four. Georgia. See so if you can't stop this run game. Great second effort by the back. Gains the length of his body as he twists off the stack. Or let's go four three. Um, four three base. Second and nine. have said it once, have said it a thousand times. East, west running doesn't do Third and five, good. let's go. North and south if you want to gain real estate and win the football game. I'll go four for base. Fifth play on this drive. Hot. Number 18. Ooh. Break tackle, does he get it? I, I think he does. No, it's fourth and one. What are they going to do? Um, okay, so they are going to kick the field goal. And they do get it, so they go up three points. But they're still down by one. Comes number nine.
So we do have the lead here. Number five wrestles his way to five yards. I'm gonna let the clock run down there. We're gonna jump into the fourth quarter. Number 41 in motion. He just went over 200 yards rushing. Whoa, Nelly. The Wildcat showing blitz. Hot. Hot. Blitz. Number 10. Yeesh. guy's done a great job of collapsing the pocket. Hasn't always made the tackle, but he's over. Should have thrown it to triangle. Kansas State shows blitz. If the offense keeps it a run like this, you know what's going to happen. They're going to draw the defense up close. Down the field they go with third and one. Kansas State goes with a four man front. Oh, God. Somebody get him. Sometimes the quarterback makes a good decision and something bad still happens. In any case, we can so anytime a receiver just kind of leaves his route, that means that they're probably going to pick it off because they already know that the ball is going to intercept the defender. We're, we're in a tough spot right here because they're already at midfield. Or just a little bit past midfield. And all they need is a field goal to win it. Good wrestle down there. Third and eight. Don't let him catch. Oh my god, he caught it. Okay, so we probably want them to score immediately here. First down. Throwing. Yeah, we want, we want them to score right away so we can have enough time to come back. Motion. Hot. Hot. Throwing on second down. And they're in there. Extra point try. So this field goal or this extra point will put us at 20 to 14. So we have to win by touchdown here. Texas A&M will receive the kick. We do have plenty of time, so no, no need to worry. You've heard that old football Good run to start it out. You just saw it. Number 41 in motion. He's a speed burner. That'll get us to the 50. If they'd kept him inside, but get him outside. You need a rope. I'm actually kind of scared to throw the ball. They're doing so well on the ground. I mean, he's got a hold. <laughs> Man traveling that fast, that far, usually has a road map in the glove compartment. Number five's having a huge game on the ground. Blue, 
Action. All right, so we are minute and forty. The Wildcat showing blitz. Oh, the ball carrier almost popped up. The big old defender took his legs away with a sweep of his right arm. Of course, that's an arm as big as a tree limb. Fifth play on this drive. You have to be careful because score a touchdown that'll tie it we hit the extra point we'll go up by one point which means that they can still win by field goal extra point all righty so a and m up 21 to 20 on the kansas state wildcats Okay, so we'll go three, two, six, cover three. Force him to throw the ball. Somebody take him down, please. Somebody doesn't cover the somebody they're supposed to be covering. Somebody's going to be wide open, and that's exactly what happened here. Number 18 comes to the attack in the first period. Good pass coverage has a trickle down effect. Okay, we've got a, defle a uh, deflection there. Which in turn causes bad decision. Number 18 looks at second down. Number 18. All right, they're at about the 40, I think. Ball comes in there that hard. You try to take it with your body, you won't catch it. Third and four. This one to take the lead. It's wild. Why would they kick the field goal? That was dumb. Maybe they didn't have timeouts left? No, they still have one left. They could have ran, ran another play. Ah. Receivers in motion. Hey, I not the smartest in this game. Now they call the timeout. That doesn't make any sense. We fumbled it, but we got it back. All right, so we got 10 seconds left. The game's over. Let's run an extra play. And there it is. HP number five having a huge game. Three touchdowns today. He probably had over 300 yards on the ground. So you got 359 total offense to their 235. So we had 327 rushing yards, almost 10 yards a carry. It's kind of funny that Oh, never mind.
So plenty of interceptions on both sides. Bumbles, one each. Giveaways, I'm not sure what giveaways are. So there you have it, folks. Relatively close game. 21 to 20, AM against the Kansas State Wildcats. Um, overall, pretty solid game. Um, but that's going to do it for me. T tonight's going to be a short one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.